Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Twilight Princess. In the last part, we finished the Cave of Ordeals. And I ran into a... You know what? Never mind. I was going to push the door open even more so I never have to run into that again. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because last time we finished the Cave of Ordeals, and now we are entering the final dungeon, which is Hyrule Castle. Let me see. How many times is the, the freaking final dungeon Hyrule Castle? Um... I don't think it was in A Link to the Past. It was the final dungeon in this. Um, it was the final dungeon in Ocarina of Time. It was the final dungeon in... Um, I don't think it... Oh, wait. Yeah, it was the final dungeon in the Minish Cap. And suffice it to say, it's the final dungeon in way too many freaking Zelda games. So now... Um, thank you. Jeez. Um, in here, just have your great spin, and you will not have any trouble, because, you know, they're gonna throw a whole bunch of red moblins at you, and they are really, really aggravating. Okay, so, um, let's see. Oh, this part's fun. Um, I'm not gonna be getting the secret key, you know, that you can get for, like, a little armory later on, because, let me tell you, it's not really much, because... Uh, this is the way that you need to go if you want to progress. But, um, if you go the other way, um, there is, there's like a graveyard. And if you go through all that area, you get a key that you can le use later on to get into a room with just a bunch of supplies. That's really all there is to it. It's like arrows, rupees, some bombs, and that's pretty much it. So, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be wasting any time here, because I bet you anything, I can finish this game in like two more videos. But anyway, um, if you come through here, uh, you're going to be fighting a boss. This is the only boss that I am worried about in this entire game. Um, this might be the only time I ever die, like game over screen and all. Or at least when I use my fairy, because we've got a familiar face here to fight. This douchebag, for the final time. I have come to play. Have you come to Let's Play? <laughs> Sorry. Alright. So, this guy is dangerous. He is the most damaging enemy in the game. Oh. Oh, jeez. I am not very comfortable fighting this guy because he can kill me in one hit. I'm dead serious. He does three hearts per hit. Come on. Okay, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. I just really don't want to use my fairy on this guy. Come on. There we go. All right. He's still not hard, but, I mean, like, he's still just as easy to beat as, um, you know, as he always was. He's never a hard boss, but it's just the fact that he could possibly get off, you know, a lucky hit. And that's all that he would need to knock me down to, you know, you know, it would kill me. <sighs> so there he goes. He followed the strongest side. Clearly, you should not be on Ganondorf's side. Or at least you ought to put on some friggin' armor. And not be so friggin' fat. Otherwise, you'd be an actually, like, a good fighter. You know, honestly, that would be a lot cooler. What if he was, like, a dark nut, you know? Like, imagine all that dialogue and stuff and all those different encounters coming from, like, a rogue dark nut. That'd be awesome. I don't know why. I don't know why I bring up these cool new ideas for Nintendo to take advantage of. Ugh. You know what would be awesome? Like, the greatest frigging thing ever. It would be awesome if Nintendo, like, took and used ideas from people who just came up with ideas. Like, like just now. Like, that idea. Like, if if the game in question was this game and they actually took and used my idea for like the rogue dark nut and still instead of the you know nameless pointless fat orc dude and he's like a rogue dark nut and he's actually got stuff to say and he's more like an anti-hero than a bad guy that would be pretty cool you know he's like you know the dark nut for once he's not just a hundred percent evil he's just doing it because you know character development blah 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 but that would be awesome. Because I'm sure that at this point, <laughs> about 
you know, anybody that ever plays Zelda, they could probably come up with a better plot than Nintendo actually could. But, alright. Whatever, I don't know why I talk about stuff like that. It's not like it's ever going to happen. Oh, I get it. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <sighs> alright. Just shut up and let me move. Um... This is kind of weird. This actually took me a little bit of time to figure out, but you use your claw shots on the bottom of these uh, chandeliers here. And then, you know, you go... It's just kind of... You don't really expect that to be the target, because you've never really had to deal with a target that didn't obviously look like a claw shot target, but oh well. It didn't have me stumped or anything. It just took me like a couple minutes. Or, well, not minutes. It took me like seconds to figure it out. But okay, Dark Nut. What the? Did you see that? Ah, come on. There we go. Come on. Boom. You suck, man. Oh, that's ball. I hate that, man. Come on. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. There we go. Ugh. Of course. There. Thank you. I hate it. It's the one time you, like, throw out an attack and then he just hits you. It's so annoying. But, oh, well. I think I'm going to get my hearts back. Oh, no. He's going to give me an orange rupee. Cool. That'll help for, for later, I guess. Oh, come on. I'm so ready to be done. Okay. Orange Rupee, it's like, it's not like, oh, I hate this game so much. It's not even like that. It's just, we're at the final dungeon. We are so close, I can taste it. So, I am just, I am 100% ready for this to be over, you know? So, throw your Gale Boomerang over there, put out the Lantern, and then it will take you right up. I believe this is an, a Silver Rupee, or an Orange Rupee. Oh, Purple, okay. Oh, stupid stingy Link. Just take it. You're only losing ten bucks. God. <laughs> Alright. What do we got in here? There are two paths that you can take here, and both of them are... You know, you can... Either one works. They'll take you to the same area, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Um, it was all folks. I want to use my bombs. There we go. Awesome. Because I do not want to have to deal with their bullcrap. Alright, so kill them. Oh, right, right. That's not all. You got to shoot down these paint. Okay, fine. You actually do have to shoot them. There we go. Shoot that. Oh, and here. Let's do that. There we go. Shoot it down, and then hit the switch. And that's it. A lot of people seem to get stuck in these rooms because they don't know that they can shoot down those po uh, I keep thinking poems, but no, it's a painting. Uh, oh, the two dark nuts in here? I thought it was the other hallway that had two. <sighs> oh, well. I don't want to fight that this many dark nuts. It gets kind of annoying. All right. Maybe I'm just not, I'm just not really feeling this game right now. I don't know. All right, so get on over. Got to be very careful. You got to you, you got to pull. You got to think of it as an MMO. You got to draw aggro one at a time. Here, let's do this. Let's see. Um, hello? No, no, no. There we go. Uh, hello, it's right there. Thank you. I don't know why I'm wasting my bombs. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to need to use them for anything else, so it doesn't matter, you know? There we go. I love my great spin. So nice. Haha. <laughs> I can just chain you. <laughs> Sucker. That's what you get. All right. Boom. I love doing that. I love getting both hits. I never see anybody do that, you know? It's so weird. It's like I'm the only one that's awesome enough to actually pull off that attack. Alright, anyway. Chain. 
Oh, I got another hit with a great spin too. Don't you kick me? That's what you're. That's what you get. I'll take out my anger that your brother had on for you know messing me up the first time. But okay. Take off the bombs and put them back. Use this. Okay. Now head on out. And now we've only got two things left to do. I'm gonna be. Bl I'm just gonna blow through the castle in one video just because I just. <sighs> I kind of hate this dungeon. Hey, there is the big key. The door is now open. Can oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say, even though we did nothing, but those guys ran out, so... Oh, no, it was all folks, and guys I can just shoot down at once. Ah, I have been... Oh, wait, no, I have not been shot. <laughs> Whoa, I clearly needed help against these worthless enemies. Yep, a bird shot down... <laughs> a bird shot down two archers and blew up some Wizolfos for me. No, the guy with the cannon did not do that. It was the bird. That is the only explanation that I will take. And also wasn't him. The bird flew off of his own accord. Okay, uh, I can't skip this. Ugh. I, I kind of, I don't know. I don't even... This is just... This is, this. Give me the stupid key. Let's just go. Okay. So now, um, we have to go all the way over to the other side and get the little key to open this door up here. I'm pretty sure it's locked. Um, let me see. Is it? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, it is locked. Okay, fine. All right, so we got to go over here, and we don't... We're not going to have any help from those guys this time around. So, whatever. Even though there is a bird that, Oh, it's a Lizalfos. Awesome. I hate these things. Haha, you missed. You are you are, you can't aim. Ugh. I can't come up with anything to say. Ugh. I'm just so mad towards this dungeon. Come on. Hurry up. I got all day, pal. Just so you know, I got all day. Oh, what was that? I hit him with a great spin. I'm not doing the Helm Splitter game. I don't care how much you want me to do it. I'm not doing it. Screw you and your stupid worthless maneuver. Oh. Anything in here? Just rupees. I don't care. I don't need no freaking rupees at this point. I beat the Cave Ordeals without freaking my magic armor. I don't need it now. All right. <laughs> you know, I bet I bet you anything that because I'm being so nonchalant and I can just steamroll everything in this game, you know, like pretty much everybody can steamroll anything in this game, but I bet because I can so easily steamroll all the bosses and enemies, I bet you anything if someone came in and they didn't know this was a three hard run, they'd never notice. What the Where did you come from? <sighs> Okay, there's ghost rats in here. So, um, go in your wolf form. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Um, go in your wolf form and follow exactly where these soldiers point. If you touch blocks that they're not pointing to, uh, they will immediately fall down and you will not have any chance. I don't really feel like showing it off, but trust me, you're going to instantly fall down there. You don't really have... There's, there's no time. It's almost completely instant. But, okay. Uh, we're now pretty much in the last stretch of the castle. Of the castle. Now, it's basically just this big spiral staircase and uh, Ganon dork playing the stupid organ upstairs. Oh man, did you see that one? I slammed him up against the wall. That was awesome. Okay, so. Now, take your claw shots. And you're going to need a claw shot back and forth in between... Uh, wait a second. I think I need to get on this one. Here, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, you need to get on this one. You're just going to be going up the staircases and fighting some Wizolfos and stuff. That's really all there is to it. Oh, okay, I need to get on this one. See, look, when you get here, you got to drop down. If you're on that one, you're going to fall in the pit. So that's why I was confused there for a second. Kaboom! And they both slammed against the wall. 
You know, that's an animation I never really take much notice of. It just doesn't seem to happen all that much. Okay, so now... Oh, crap! Oh! Man, alright, fine, I fell. Whatever. Whatever. It's cool. Okay. So, get on your spinner. Whoop. There we go, that's better. I started on the wrong side. Um... Let's see, now we're going to get one last uh, Dark Nut, or like Iron Knuckle. I think this one might be an Iron Knuckle, I don't know. There's not really any difference in between them in this game. They're all pretty much the same thing, it's just different color armor. But because this one's sort of... I mean, it's just... You know, it's just regular brownish bronze armor, you know? It's... I mean, I'm pretty sure Dark or Iron Knuckles have... Iron armor, which is black or dark gray. So I don't think this is even an iron knuckle. Which is really weird that you have a, a Zelda game with no iron knuckles. But whatever. Hey, what? Oh, I didn't have my great spin, right. I <laughs> forgot. Come on. Ugh. These enemies. Get out of my face. Nope. Alright, come on. Die, 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 die. There we go. Awesome. And now I only need one more heart. Oh, thank you for the arrows. That's good. See, that room right there, that is the uh, the armory place. It's got like a frick ton of chests, but really all it has is rupees, bombs, arrows, and stuff like that. Nothing that we really need because I'm already pretty much full. All these bombs that were used, I used them while we were here, like in this freaking video. So whatever. Huh. Anyway, now that we have blah, 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 we've climbed the heights, see you guys next time where we fight Ganon. Whatever. Bye.